folks, my name is Margie Kerr, and I know what scares you. But today, I'm really excited to be a guest vlogger to talk to you about why you like to be afraid. Oh my God! <laughs> so tons of people love being scared. I'm a sociologist who studies fear, and I work with Scare House, an elaborate haunted attraction in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. <laughs> I've watched thousands of people go through the haunted house screaming their heads off in delight, even while they pee their pants. They then proceed to take pictures of their wet pants and post it all over the internet. Crazy kids today, right? Anyway, why do we do this? Well, first, let's think about fear. Fear is one of the six universal emotions. The other five, if you're curious, are happiness, anger, sadness, disgust, and surprise. That means that no matter where you go in the world or what time period you might happen to visit, you're going to find fear. What does change though is how we engage with scary material and even the very things that we find scary, which is another one of my favorite topics. All right, so back to why we enjoy fear. I mean, it doesn't really seem to make any sense that we purposely go out and find situations that would scare us. In fact, we pay money to be scared with movies and video games and haunted houses, but why? It actually turns out that people have been scaring themselves or self-scaring as us academics like to call it, which I find kind of amusing. I mean, it makes it sound very clinical, like we're self-medicating, we're self-scaring. And in fact, it kind of is like self-medicating. Anyway, we've been self-scaring since the dawn of man. That's right, our ancestors would sit around the cave and tell each other scary stories about all the wild beasts and you know, demons and ghosts that were out there waiting to attack. And they did this for a lot of different reasons. For one thing, it was a great way to teach young tribe members about the dangers that they really would encounter when they went out hunting. The hope was that if they told these scary stories, they would be more prepared and, you know, more likely to survive. And they did. Another reason they would tell scary stories is because it did a really good job of building group solidarity. Nothing really brings people closer together than a common enemy or the fear of the big boogeyman. The other reason that they would tell scary stories is because it was an excellent form of social control. What better way to keep your kids out of the basement than by telling them that's where the crazy scary clown lives and he's going to eat you. All right, but let's bring it back up to the 21st century. Most of us are not out there battling lions and tigers and bears, oh my. But we are sitting around the campfire telling scary stories and I bet you're popping out from behind the door to scare your mom. In fact, we've pretty much used every medium out there as a way to scare ourselves. So we've got books, TV, radio, music, um, haunted houses, roller coasters, extreme sports, you name it, and we've found a way to use it to scare ourselves. So we must be getting something out of it. I mean, we've done it for so long, and we keep doing it. So what are we getting out of being afraid? Well, for one thing, it's a great natural high. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> when we're startled or frightened, our body goes into the fight or flight mode, and it brings with it a powerful chemical punch, but in a good way. <laughs> Now this response initially was intended to, you know, protect us when we were actually battling really scary monsters. You know, it would make sure that we had enough strength and energy to fight or, you know, run away. Anyway, we've got endorphins, dopamine, and adrenaline all coursing through our body and it's making us feel euphoric, powerful, primal, strong, really awesome. It's, it's, it's an incredible rush. But it turns out that not everyone experiences that same rush. And that may be why some people enjoy scary material and being scared more than others. I hate you! Okay, so that's the physiological reason why we enjoy being scared. The next reason has more to do with our psychology. So, when we go through a haunted house or we win a scary video game, we feel really good about ourselves. You know, you're going through and you're confronting all of these scary monsters, you're killing them, you're coming out alive. It's pretty awesome. It's a really big confidence boost. You feel triumphant. You've slain the dragon. You've conquered the horde. You know you can definitely survive the inevitable zombie apocalypse. So psychologically, it's a real self-esteem boost. You know, we feel very accomplished and successful. <laughs> Finally, friends that are scared together, stay together. <laughs> That's right, when we get scared with our friends, we're creating really strong social bonds and really strong, really great memories. See, when we're stressed out, our body is also releasing the hormone oxytocin. 
That's the hormone that makes you look at your friend and go, oh my god, I love you, man. So it's the same hormone that's released during childbirth and it helps mothers bond to their babies. But basically, when we're in a haunted house or we're watching something scary, we're bonding to the people that we're with and that feels really good. So socially, it's very fulfilling. Why the f do you know my name? I've talked to so many people who say that their favorite memory and their fondest memories are of going through haunted houses with their friends or even huddling up under the covers to watch a scary movie. It really brings people together. In fact, I think the only time that I ever hugged my sister was after watching all of the Exorcist movies in a row. <laughs> anyway, folks, there you have it. That's why you love to be scared. Physically, it's very exhilarating. Psychologically, it's very gratifying. And it will do wonders for your social life. So get out there this Halloween season and trick, treat, and scare yourself silly. And if you want to find out more about the science of fear, check out the Scare You web series on the Scarehouse YouTube channel. You'll also find lots of other fun virtual scares. Thanks and happy haunting. <laughs>